Yo guys, Jin Swords here. It's been a while since I've last loaded, it's uploaded. It's been about a week, and this is because my Sony Vegas trial has expired, which means that I can't use the layout that I want to use. Um, I'm making Pokemon battles, and I've just been a little bit lazy, which is, I guess, unfortunate. So, what we're gonna do here is uh, we're gonna make a new team, and we're gonna test it. I have tried some, I tried to make a team which did not end up working, um, built around Sticky Web and using Lightbulb Drapion, he's Drapion Boss, and uh, it's one of my favorite Pokemon. And this is my old team, it was really good, I got up to the half of the ladder, I uh, got about to 1300, and well then Lucario Knight was me, and everyone uses XYOU, um, not Pokebank, pre Pokebank XY, which means that I cannot actually use Mega Lucario, which is silly because only about 10% of the people ever use Mega Lucario if you look on the, uh, the usage rankings, which which I just found silly. But we're so o overpowered that it needs to be banned, and how come people didn't use it more often? Uh, and that's, that's just my opinion, though. But uh, we're going to make a new team here, and it's basically going to be a team building guide with a little bit of uh, testing at the end. So how are you going to start? The first thing you want to get is something that you want to be your focus. You could Your focus could be a wall team, your focus could be a standard team, your focus could be hyper offense like my last team uh, with Mega Lucario. Or maybe you wanted to be a team of setup sweepers. Or you want to just get everything out of the way for some kind of like Scarf Salamence or Dragon Dance Salamence or Infernape or something that's fast and powerful. And you want to just get everything that can uh, handle it out of the way so then you can just sweep with that. Or you want to go Trick Room. Obviously I can't do a guide for every all of those in the uh, same video. So I'm going to be making a slightly... I, I definitely lean, like to lean more towards the offensive side of the spectrum, so I'm going to be making an offensive team that's going to be built around, let's see, what do I want to build around? I can build around uh, Hydreigon, I can build around uh, Talonflame, there are a lot of things I can build around. One of the big things that are easy to build around is Genesect, because Genesect right now is not banned anymore, it is currently still in OU. Which I don't think will last for much longer just because it's been overused so much. It's been used nearly as much as Rotom Wash, but it's so much more powerful and better than Rotom Wash. Just look at those stats, along with download and a very wide move pool. That's just ridiculous. And good typing. That's just ridiculous. But um, I'm going to start building my team. I'm going to build my team around. I'm going to go build my team around Scarf and Frame. Because I'm a huge fan, fan of Infernape. Um, I think it's really good. So we're just gonna make our grenade right here. Of course, you want max uh, attack, max defense, or ugh, can't speak. Max attack, max speed. Uh, with some HP investment. And, uh, I actually want 248 attack and 247, or maybe 252, and then four in HP. Um, this is because he hits. Oh wait, never mind. 293 is one more than a 144. So yeah, 252, 252. And then you want to put four in a uh, special effect of defense or choice. Give it a choice, not a choice band, a uh, choice scarf. So it can outspeed uh, a lot of things. And of course, you want to make it a really powerful, give close combat, give flare blitz. Flare blitz is. There it is. Um, and then your other two choice of moves. I'm a huge fan of U turn. I love to get an initiative. And then I found that uh, Thunder Punch is really can be really effective. You could also go Mock Punch if you want some priority. Uh, rock Rock Slide uh, is is all right. It's not definitely not his best option. Go, even go Poison Jab if you're really worried about fairies, which this move said is really a little bit weak too. I have to say because fairies is at both U-turn and close combat. Uh, you could also go with Gunk Shot, actually, you probably want to go with Gunk Shot over Poison Jab, just because Gunk Shot has uh, got a boost in accuracy, so it's actually viable now. Um, or you could even go Earthquake, because Earthquake's a really good move. Or you could try to go Aerial 
place, but I don't think that's quite as good of an option. Or at least it's not free, or even dual shot. But again, those are all silly. Uh, I'm gonna go with Thunder Punch, or maybe not. You know, Gyarados uh, was as a water flying type was big in fifth gen and fourth gen and earlier on in OU, and I really like to run Thunder Punch for that. But I feel like I don't need to anymore, especially since uh, since that anyone that runs it runs. Mega Gyarados, it seems like, so I'm not going to worry for that. And is Iron Fist legal? I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to look that up. Quickly look that up, see if Iron Fist is legal. One. Let's see, Iron Fist Infernape. Is Iron Fist legal? We shall see. No, I wanna look at I wanna be looking at Infernape and Infernape. There we are. There is Infernape. And I wanna see if there are any events that get into a uh 50th 15th anniversary of Infernape. Beautiful. Let's take a look at that. See if it has Iron Fist. Wait, there we go, skip down. Oh, that was in fourth gen, so it's definitely not gonna have Iron Fist there. Um, sorry about this, just give me a sec, I don't want to use it. Uh, is Iron Fist legal in Fernate? Yes, it's Iron Fist. Um, yes, since Iron Fist Infinite was distributed in an event. Alright, cool. And great to know. So we're going to give it Iron Fist just because it should power up close combat. Uh, actually, no, I prefer Blaze, actually, over Iron Fist, so that was all useless, just because I'd only get a boost for close combat. What, is that 20%? I think, I think Iron Fist is 20%, so it's just a quick map. Fire Punch, uh, being 20% boost, which can give it an extra 15 power Flare Bliss is 120. Uh, not a big fan of that. Not a big fan of that at all. I would rather just go with the Flare Blitz. Okay, so we have that. I want to make a mail just because I I, I want a mail in for it. And you can nickname it if you want. So we're gonna move on to that. So what can handle Infernape? First thing that comes to mind is Azumarill. Look at his moves. Moves. Azumarill can kind of come in, eat up any of his hits, and just retaliate with Aqua Jet, Waterfall, Play Rough, or Superpower. I mean, you'd never use Superpower, but all of which will do massive damage and take out Infernape. So you need something that can handle Azumarill, but the only problem is there is very little that actually handles Azumarill. So what handles Azumarill? So things that things that can handle Azumarill are defensive, really defensive stuff. Um, some of the things like Dewblade. I'm thinking that I'm gonna run Dewblade. Oh, I hate that sprite. I just want to see if they can do anything in return to Azumarill. Uh, Evo like Dewblade is just so so defensive and powerful. Um, but I mean, it can't really do anything in return to. So that's not exactly a good choice. Uh, I guess I could go toxic, but even then, that's, that's that's sketchy. So we're gonna buy something else that's defensive, something like Venusaur. Bulky grass types, like defensively bulky grass types, like Venusaur, Mega Venusaur, uh, Tangro, even Leafeon are really good against Azumarill because they don't run. Uh, Ice Punch anymore. That's just a thing. They just don't run Ice Punch anymore. Uh, so, we're gonna make it Impish Max Defense, Max HP, and with Mega Venusaur, that's gonna be really, really powerful. So, you wanna go on a Venusaurite? There we are. Um, oh, wait, I want Bold. I want Bold. There we are. And, uh, we're gonna go. 
Might as well get that there. Giga Drain. Ooh, gets knockoff. Knockoff. That is really, really like a knockoff. Just because knockoff is so great in this generation. It's so great. Uh, let's see, what else do we want? We want, we want BC. We want... Not really all we want. I guess we want Toxic, too. And... Sleep Powder, not Toxic. Okay, right. I knew there was something that... Some condition that Venusaur was good at giving. So, uh... I think, you know, I think we want Knock Off. We're gonna go Knock Off. It's not gonna do much damage, even despite the attack thing, just because... But... Just, the ability to knock off the opponent's item is just so great. I ran it back fifth gen on Gligar. You knew it was so effective. So, what can handle Infernape and Venusaur together? Now, there isn't really all that much that can do this. Uh, you take a quick look here. Powerful flying type Talon Flame is a huge threat right now. So we have to do something to take down Talon Flame. The great thing to take down Talon Flame is a powerful rock type like Tyranitar or uh let's see, what what do I want to go for? You could do Tyranitar, you could do Ooh, Swampert. Get that three starters, fire, water, grass core. Wow, I'm really think thinking that I like that. Really thinking that I like that. But I, then I'd have to make him fully defensive. Again. So I see that's a little, it's a little, little weird. Oh, and Polium. Your Steel type though, Flare Blitz plus two Flare Blitz, still be a decent, decent chunk to you. Or we could always just go with the standard uh, Town Flame counter, Rotom Wash, resist both of his stabs. Town Flame doesn't get any other good moves. We're gonna make you uh, bold as well. Max defense, max HP, a little bit of special attack. Give it an item. We do leftovers. Or er, actually, we're gonna do the resto chest. Set. The resto chest set is really, really amazing. So we're gonna give you 29 speed. You know why? Because people run 30 speed to. Uh, so they outslow all the other Rotom Washes. So I'm gonna, you know, run 29 speed, so I, you know, outslow all those people that are predicting to outslow Rotom Wash. So of course I'm gonna go uh, Hydro Pump. We want to go get Bolt Switch. Bolt Switch is great. Will Wisp. And of course we want to go with Rest. Where is it? Right here. And there we go. We got we got nice Fire Water Grass Core, which is pretty awesome. Um, like a, we've got Town Flame Counter, so what else can handle Infernape that I can't really handle yet? Let's see, uh, Setup Sweeper, plus one attack Salamon, plus one, no, 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 I can handle that, Infernape man. Oh, he's nothing to hit that though, he is nothing to hit Dragon Flies, and that is something that I plan on to fix. Only you got Ice Punch, only you got Ice Punch. Instead of Earthquake, I'm actually going to give it Stone Edge. So I can hit Salamence. Um, although, plus one from Dragon Dance stuff like Haxorus and Salamence, they, I feel like they tend to run Jolly, just because they don't need that extra little bit of attack. And I want to be able to outspeed them. I do. Or maybe I just shouldn't care that much. And I'll just run something else instead, like Nano Swan. Nano Swan is great for taking out those dragon types. Uh, oops, don't worry to do that. So, uh, make it. I'm gonna steal Joey's set for a little bit right here. I'm gonna make it naive. Uh, I think he runs that, that, and that with item of uh, Life Orb. And we go Ice. Shard, Breeze, Dry, what? You mean, no, that's not a thing. I want Freeze Dry. Where is Freeze Dry? That's what it's called, right? Is, is, uh, 
that is that just not implemented? So weird. Uh I don't understand. Why isn't it here? Kind of little, kind of little weird. Charm is a fairy type here, so knock off. So it looks like this is sixth gen. It absolutely looks like a sixth gen Venus or right. Yet there is no freeze drive. This is really, really confusing. Of course, we want to give it thick fat though. Freeze drive. It is called freeze drive. This is quite confusing on my part, but uh, it doesn't look like. It's been implemented, so we're gonna go Ice Shard. So instead of that, we're gonna go the uh, Focus Sash out, which I believe is Jolly. Um, that, and Focus Sash, not Ban. Don't wanna make that mistake. Of course, the Stealth Rocks are gonna be really great for other Focus Sash people. And, um, see, Ice Ground has perfect coverage. Except for Bronzong, and I guess maybe some fairy types now. Actually, fairy doesn't resist that, so those are not fairy types. So it's still has pretty much perfect coverage. Um, so, but the Ice Shard is our only Ice type, so I'd rather go Double Stab, go Ice School Spear. Especially since if you want to handle Dragonite, Ice School Spear is going to be a lot more helpful. Um, he's into the whole multi scale thing. And. So yeah, so there we have that, and is there anything glaringly weak? We have two things weak to grab, we have two things that resist it. Let's see, we have fighting type, nope, Venusaur covers that. Let's see, water type, Modem, and that covers that. Ground, no, we're seeming to be fine on ground. And uh, we have nothing weak to fire, because both these things have thick that. Alright, so this is looking pretty good. And, um, so now we have two Pokemon left to decide what we want to do. I'm thinking that I want to go something that can handle other Choice Scarfers. I mean, I can usually handle most, I can probably handle most Choice Scarfs with these three Pokemon. Um, if he wants to lock himself, no. if the opponent runs a Flare, uh, an Inferno, I can lock, go into this thing, take a Flare Blitz, go into this thing, face close combat, uh, Guard Chomp. I can handle Guard Shot with Rotom Wash, Defensive Rotom Wash. Defensive Rotom Wash takes 44% from plus 2 Jolly Guard Shot, which is just ridiculous. That's so good. Um, we have nothing to take special hits, though. That might be a problem. In terms of Dragon types, special Dragon types, Choice Specs, Timid Latios, I have nothing, nothing for that because I don't have. Infernape can do. A little bit of damage with your turn do for about 40%. Um, at least that's what it did in 5th gen. I don't think it should do anything different. So that's not really enough, which means I go for your turn. He goes for Specs, Dragon Pulse, Specs, Dragon Leader. Something has to come in and die. I don't want something to come and die. So I'm going to go with something that's special defensive, but at the same time, it can be a spinner. So I want some, I need a spinner. Now I could go Blastoise, I could go Jellicent. Jellicent's a spinball. I could go hot kick on top, but the uh, thing with that is that I have multiple types in common. So we're gonna go something like Fortress. Fortress can take anything from Latios, um, except for, I guess, you know, Hidden Power Fire, which I can handle with any of my other four Pokemon because Hidden Power Fire is been has been nerfed in this generation. So we're gonna give it a Calm nature. Give that plus 240. That's really not all that great. I'm really not liking the 240. But uh, regardless of that, I need him to take hits. He doesn't really take hits well. Maybe I can go Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn doesn't get wrapped. It's just something that I really, really want. So, what we're going to do, we're going to look through Rapid Spinners. Rapid Spin Smother. Unfortunately, this is black and white, so it's not updated for X and Y, but I think the only thing that really gets scrapped for X and Y is Avala. Unless there's something else that I don't know of. 
so we have a few things to see, a few things to play with. We want something that's special defensive, so we're gonna go put that there. Let's see, we have Cryogonal, Claydol, Tentacruel. Ooh, Tentacruel. Tentacruel, Tentacruel, Tentacruel. Ooh, Excadrill. Could go Excadrill. Uh, let's see, I wanna see how that works with the team that we are currently building. Excadrill. Another ground type. So, but water is. So, we have three things to beat to water. So, but my two main walls here. But, extra is not quite bulky enough. So, I'm actually gonna actually not go with Tentacruel. Ooh, cruel. Um. I'm gonna make you the special defensive set. I don't actually know what the special defensive set, special defensive set is off the top of my head. Um. So, we're gonna find this Tentacruel. Set. Support that's the defensive set. I already have a defensive line. That's the only set they put up, so I'll just do the same thing for special defensive. So it wants uh, timid 16 speed, perfect 248 HP and 244 defense. But I'm gonna run special defense instead, and this thing is gonna be a tank. A little black sludge, of course. Just in case someone wants to go for trick, it won't be as helpful. Leftovers. So what do they have? They have of course rapid spin, which is something we, something that I need. Is why I chose it. Toxic or toxic spikes. Uh, scald. I want scald. Let's see, is there anything else like knock off, knock off? I want knock off. Let's see, that's two things. Knock off now. That's beautiful. That is absolutely stunning. And I could try to go for Toxic Spikes. Um, yeah. Could try to go Sludge Wave, though. Grass types. Ferrothorn. Eh. Chestnut. 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 Where else? Just so we can hand the Chestnut a little bit better. This will not run range-ish, but no one runs range this game. Um, drain punch. Stats being lowered. It's such a helper sticky button, right? And now we have that spinning going on. We need something that's going to set up hazards. We have stealth box. We have. We don't have toxic spikes. And it doesn't go for toxic spikes. So that comes to change that. Go for toxic spikes. So now we have one more thing. And now, what are we going to make this thing? We have, let's see, one special attacker. Two special attackers, three special attackers, and two physical attackers. Although the three special attackers are my three walls, um, but they are special attackers. So I'm gonna go something that's a little more different. I'm gonna go something that's more mixed, just so I can get both offense attacking and special attacking. So let's see, what's it going to be? What's it going to be? Go Victini. Victini is interesting. Azelf is interesting, but I want to go. I want to go. Salamence. There we go. I'm gonna bring back Mix Mets. I don't know the exact set because I did not play competitive in fourth gen. Mix Mets, here it is. Do you wanna go 252 speed, 64 attack, and 192 special attack? I wanna run naive on this thing. I wanna just make sure. Alright, yeah, you're jolly perfect. I just want to make sure that that wasn't naive. Just again, going through my abilities. Gotta make sure that everything is spick and span. Of course, Light Orb. It's gonna be very helpful. We want to intimidate not Moxie, because Moxie does not actually help us as much as Intimidate does. Uh, actually, kind of think of, do I have anything for Dragonite's Gyarados? He is Moldbreaker Gyarados. Goes through. That goes through. That, unless I still have my focus session deck. Goes through that with Earthquake. You know, it has Mold Breaker. That. This. Ooh. Dragon Dance. Gyarados. Problem. Um. I don't know what set it runs. They. A Dragon Dance, Waterfall, Earthquake. They run something like Crunch? 
I don't know. But as long as I have Intimidate, I can bring it in on the um, Gyarados. He says so he can only have it be at plus one speed. And if he wants to go for a Dragon Dance again, I should be able to knock him out. Um, if not with Ice Shard afterward, I guess Ice Shard's not going to be nearly as effective. Um, either way, so if that happens, I would go Intimidate, and then I'd actually switch it out to Rotom Wash. So you probably want to go for the Crunch. Actually, yeah, this should handle it because. Waters gets resisted, ground is used, and crunch, even with Mold Breaker 155 base attack, I feel like Salamence has some decent both. Salamence can do that, Salamence is a powerhouse. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty cool. So we're gonna go straight for the Draco Meteor here, the Earthquake, get that Fire Blast, and the last move is suggested to be Outrage, but because Outrage has been nerfed, I'm not actually gonna go for the Outrage, I'm gonna go straight for the Dragon. Claw. And I've never been much of an outrage user. I've always used usually run Dragon Claw um, on Garchomp, on Salamence. I, I just Dragonite. I always run Dragon Claw just because I don't like the block here. So we're gonna take a look at this team. So we've got this. Team. There is there anything glaringly weak? I think we're all threats. Trick Room. Can we handle Trick Room? Yes, because we have a few walls here. And stuff that it can take hits. Salamence and Mimoswine can both take hits. They're both naturally pretty bulky. Um, all the Megas, Mega Heracross is a huge threat. Salamence has Intimidate though. And I guess I have Rock Blast. If it goes for Rock Blast, I can go to Mamoswine. This thing outspeeds though, and Mam Heracross does not get any form of priority. So Salamence and Inferno can have speed. Someone wants to go really wally on me. Can I take walls? If someone wants to be a huge Thunder Wave user, uh, can I take that? Yes, I have three things that can absorb Thunder Wave that I don't care about. Even the Venusaur, I don't care if Venusaur is paralyzed, Proto Mosh doesn't get affected. Mamoswine doesn't get affected. Um, Thunder Aetherian form. Agility. Mamoswine can handle. Uh, dragons, Mamoswine can handle. Ferrothorn, Infernape can handle, Salamence can handle, even Mamoswine can do a decent chunk. We have a spinner, we have uh, our own form of entry hazards, and we have a pretty good defensive core. Although I don't have a steel type, which is just something I wish I had. But, uh, you know, can't be perfect. And Mega Scizor. Sword stance in my it tries to sword in my in my face. How long can Inferno take a Mega Scizor full punch from plus two? I want to know that. But also Tentacruel, I have Scald. I guess got a hope to burn. Scizor runs Bug Bite, full punch, Roost, and Sword Stance or something else instead of Roost like Superpower. I don't know. But uh, Tentacruel can take those hits. Hopefully. Venusaur can hopefully take those hits. Um, yeah, this team looks like it's actually a pretty good team. I'm not usually get a team built in, but I, I kind of like this team. So, first I'm going to save it just because I haven't actually made this team. I'm, I made this live. I have not pre... I did not pre-make this team before him. So this is going to be my X, Y, O, U, Scarf 8. So there's that. So that's saved. Save all teams. Load teams. Oh, oh no no. Press load all. So we can load this team into our layout thing. Good. It's there. X Y U. Uh, that's a band. I guess that goes in Pokemon. And that team is a terrible team. So I'm not going to ever use that again. So now that that's done, we can get into the battles. And since we're already at 30 minutes, I'm, gonna need, I'm going to end the team building guide there, and you can see me do the uh, test battles in the next video, which should hopefully be uploaded shortly. So uh, thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, see you all later.